Hey there, welcome to this radio related video and this is another video in our series of the shortwave bands 1 megahertz at a time explaining what you can listen to and this video is for the 14 megahertz segment so on 14 megahertz uh, first of all the propagation of 14 megahertz makes it a um, band that is open usually during the daytime often with uh, signals through the evening and um, in the summertime it probably will be open most of the time 24 hours uh, I've seen signals very late at night here and uh, it's uh, an interesting band because it's home to the 20 meters amateur radio band that is probably one of the most popular segment of amateur radio so on shortwave uh, for the 20 meter band is very very popular because it uh, has nice propagation characteristics and um, because of its higher frequency often easier to make DX contacts with really countries really far away and so uh, basically the 14 megahertz band is separated from 14 to 14.350 with 20 meter amateur radio band and from 14.350 way up to 15 megahertz um, a mix of utility type signals of all sorts uh, with of course a mishmash of all sorts of mysterious and unknown type signals so uh, it's nice to take a listen uh, I've heard lots of interesting stuff in uh, both in the 20 meter amateur band and also on the uh, outskirts you know of the band um, where you got the utility signals so let's start tuning and of course first of all the first part of the band is in CW mode Starting 14.07 is digital modes. Radio teletype, BPSK31, lots of digital mode signals. On 14.100, there's an interesting little feature here. Uh, every minute, there's a cycling of uh, stations, automatic stations that send uh, from different countries in the world. They are beacons to actually give you an idea of the uh, propagation conditions around the world. And starting at probably 14.115, 14.110, and up is AM radio voice transmission and upper sideband. Lots of German stations, some uh, probably German amateur radio contest this weekend. And here's the end of the amateur radio band and the start of the utility signal band. Wow. 
radio teletype. Fourteen dot six seven zero is one of the frequencies of the CHU Canada time signal. So uh, it's probably one of the frequencies that propagates really far away. kind of digital signal and there it was so this was the tuning of the 14 megahertz segment uh, so basically from 14 to 14.350 you'll have uh, the 20 meters amateur radio band and from 14.350 way up to 15 megahertz you'll have utility signals of all sorts so uh, lots of uh, interesting signals possible there uh, just take a listen and tune around you never know what you'll hear of course, if you enjoy uh, listening to amateur radio uh, stations, the 20 meter band is a very, very nice uh, band to actually tune around. Lots of strong signals and uh, lots of stations uh, over there. So this was the tuning of 14 megahertz range. If you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of all the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know, it's always fun, and I'll answer any questions that you have. And of course, um, take a look at all the other segments. Uh, we're doing the series from 3 to 30 megahertz shortwave. So thanks for watching, 73s.